Finally, I like to share some best practices of using a Facebook group for a course discussion. First thing to do is do not create an open group. The Facebook group, group that you create, it should either be a closed group or a secret group. Now in a closed group, other Facebook users, they can see who is in the group, but they can't see the post. In a secret group, much like the title suggests, or more secretive, but this means that other Facebook users, they cannot even see that the group exists. Now, the reason that you want to have either a closed group or a secret group is so that the students' posts are not seen by their Facebook friends. Students, they have an online personality to uphold. So they may not participate as much or as, or as well as they would like if they knew their friends are going to see what they post. And the thing with the secret group is, is that if the name of the group is the name of the course and those students, for whatever reason, don't want others to know that they're in school, they probably would prefer a secret group. Now, another thing to keep in mind, that if you have a large group, it's better for the instructor rather than the students to post the questions in the Facebook group space and then have the students respond to them. The, re the reason for this is because if you have like more than 20 students and they're each posting something in the group, the posts, they're going to get lost or buried in the discussion feed. But if as the instructor, you've posted like two or three questions, say a week, and everyone is responding to the same two or three questions, and they're going to remain prominent in the feed until you post new questions. But if you, if you do find that something you posted that's important gets lost in the feed and you really want to bring it back to the top so that they see it, all you have to do is write something on it. Even if you just like comment, uh, I still like to know your thoughts on this or something like that. That's one way to bring it back to the top. Um, Another thing that you may encounter, I rarely encounter it, but it does happen, that if a student writes something that for whatever reason you don't like, maybe it's controversial or it's upsetting in some way, you can just delete it. And even if people start, started to respond to it already, it doesn't matter, you can delete the whole thing. And then if you have an issue with that student, you just send them a private message to talk about it. Um, an another thing that people wonder about is how can we keep track of what a student writes in the Facebook group? There's a search field in the group. So all you have to do is you have to type that student's name in the search field. But it has to be spelled exactly. Make sure you don't misspell it. And every post that they responded to will come up. Um, you'll actually have to click on the post and find what they wrote. But if you would like to keep track, there's a way to do it. And the last thing I like to talk about is um, while Facebook groups, they, they greatly help forge student relationships, it also can enhance student relationships with the instructor. So when possible, let your personality or human side show in what you post. Like you might post a photo or, or share a thought or something of concern to you as an instructor, or even just comment on or, or like a photo that the student posts. I mean, of course, you should only post or share what you're comfortable sharing. But even just a little small emote icon, like a happy face on something that the student wrote, can make a, a small difference. And what it does is it helps them to get to know you, and it helps make them more comfortable with your course, and it creates a more harmonious learning environment. See, if they, if they view you as a person, because this is all online, remember, it will encourage them to feel comfortable when they need to talk to you about something course related. At least this is what I find in my personal experience. And at least, even if they don't have an issue to talk to you about, they're most likely are going to walk away with a positive learning experience. And those are my best practices.